I have an easy dinner idea for you today. We are going to make Cheddar Bay Biscuit and Chicken Casserole. So easy. We're going to take a box of Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix and make something scrumptious. It's going to be creamy, cheesy, and delicious. Now if you cannot find the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix, I have a recipe for it. I'll link it down below in the description box, or you can even find it in my recipe blog at katherinesplates.com, and you can make your own. But we're going to use this one today. It looks really delicious. I'm going to start off with a full rotisserie chicken. I just took off the bone, all the skin off of it. We're going to chop it up into little tiny bite-sized pieces that we can spread through the casserole really good. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, if you can't run out and go get a rotisserie chicken, you can make your own cooked chicken. You can boil your chicken. You can bake your chicken, braise, roast, whatever you want to do. I have a recipe for baked chicken. It makes the most moist, delicious flavored chicken. I will link that down below in the description box, or you can actually find it on my recipe blog also and make your own. You need about two cups of fully cooked chicken. We're not sponsored, but I saw the box and I was like, oh my gosh, we need to make it with the boxed mix and show y'all just how simple you can put together a fast meal. Mm -hmm. Now the basis for this recipe comes from my chicken pot pie. And that's where you're going to get the creaminess from it, a lot of flavor. We're going to put some veggies in it, whatever veggies you want. Now you can find this mix right here down the baking aisle where the cornmeal mix is and before the cake mixes. That's where I found it. Okay, we're going to add our cut up chicken to a large bowl. This is kind of a dump and go recipe, so we're going to put the rest of the ingredients in here. We're going to add three cans of cream of soup. Now I've got two cans of cream of chicken and one can of cream of celery. These are 10 ounces each. I love adding the cream of celery. It adds such a good flavor to it. sour cream, two tablespoons melted butter, quarter cup milk, two teaspoons minced garlic, one cup shredded cheese, half a teaspoon of salt, Half a teaspoon black pepper, half a teaspoon garlic powder, make sure you give it flavor, half a teaspoon of onion powder. Let's go ahead and blend this together. Smells good. How's that for a quick? easy mixture, right? We're going to add 15 ounces of corn that we've drained. And we're going to add about one, one and a half cups of peas and carrots. We'll mix all that together. You can change these vegetables to broccoli if you want to do that. Beans. The Normandy ones are really good. It's got the carrots, the cauliflower and broccoli. That's a good one to do. I'm going to take a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. 
We're going to go ahead now and place that mixture into our baking dish. Ooh, who wants to dive in there right now with a spoonful, huh? Yeah. We definitely have to give it a casserole feel, though. All right, let's spread it out. Nice and even. All right, what we're going to do now is make that cheddar biscuit mixture. And you're just going to follow the directions on the back of the box. So it's one package. This is 11.36 ounces. That's the box size. To that, we're going to add half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, three quarters cup of water. We're going to mix that all together. Now it should come together like biscuit dough. You don't want to over mix, just get everything combined. Yep, just like that. I mean, as easy as that was right there. We're going to bring our casserole back over, and then we're going to scoop this and just form it on top of the casserole. What a nice coverage. So it bakes right across the top of it. I've got my oven preheated at 425 degrees. We're going to place this in for about 16 to 18 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top. The biscuits are cooked through. The casserole is heated through. Then we've got one more step that we're going to do. Finish this off. Look how beautiful that looks. We're going to finish this off. Four tablespoons of melted butter. Now in the box of biscuit mix came a little seasoning packet, so we're going to add that to the butter. Alright, we're going to take a brush, blend this together. Then we're going to brush this all over the biscuit topping of our casserole. We'll flavor those biscuits. It smells delicious. Mmm, can't wait to dive in. Once we get the butter on, we're going to let this set up for about seven, eight minutes, kind of pull itself all together, and then we're going to go in for a scoop and give it a try for you. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to grab a fork. We're going to give this a try. All right, look how fluffy those biscuits look. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Creamy goodness on the inside. Mmm. That's good. Nice and creamy, lots of flavor going on. I love the crunch of the top part of the biscuit. And then it's got that butter herb mixture on top. I'll make this one. You saw how easy that was to come together. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. All right. Give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.